What's going on guys, Chiefs here, and I'm back in my freaking pier kick, casting glow spoons because we have a full blue moon. I'm gonna see if I can try to stick a nice big king salmon off the pier tonight on the super rare event. I guess this is like a once in a 15 year kind of deal or something. So I'm gonna throw some blue spoons for the blue moon. We've got a nice lake flip right now. I don't know, the vibes are high. I'm, fe I'm kind of feeling it. Man, I can't get over how, oh. Oh, I just got smoked on the drop, 100%. My, my spoon was dropping, I felt my line go tight, dude. 100%, Mike. Oh, there's one. Oh yeah, dude, what? Fat sucker. That's a great fish. And the hook just came out. That is such a nice coho. Bounce. <laughs> thanks thanks for the help man finally hooking up I had I had some scrappy bites earlier today but seven pound or just under seven pound coho That's beauty, freaking fat full eggs it's gonna have some great meat nights young see if we can't get a couple more going broke the troubles right off it in the net Very nice. There's one. Oh. Lost them. Did you see that? Little. There's one. Yep. No. I think it's just another big coho, man. Yeah. This is another big coho, man. <laughs> I love it. Another big coho. Seven twelve. You said the last one was seven eleven? It says eight pounds. Eight pound coho. That is a freaking great fish. Let's hit another coho, guys. This one just over eight pounds. Hitting the blue KO. Still for looking for that king, but I can, I'm not gonna complain about that one bit. Still debating on taking a nap in my truck. Still debating on taking a nap in my truck. What? No, I know. I mean, I'd come back out at like five. By what? You think so? Ha <laughs> 
There's one. That might be a king, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a king to me. Think so? I'm trying, dude. Trust me. He's on the surface, like, all the way out. That's the king, buddy. That's the king we were talking about right there, man. He's a, sw he's a swimming right at us, that's all. Well, then real, just straight real. Straight real when you can. I, I never pump them when they're, when they're coming in. I just straight real. That thing is coming right at us. Swam all the way to the pier. Oh, I know. I'm loosening that drag. Just a touch. There we go. I tightened it because I was getting on the freaking bottom end. I loosened it back up. Now that he's close because he could make a big run. Man, I was just talking to you about taking a nap too. It's so funny. Oh, what's going to happen? Just wait. Adrenaline is full force right now, man. <laughs> oh. All right, it's coming in. Nice. That's a nice one. <laughs> Go. Mr. Mike, thank you. That's a nice fish right there. I'll take that all day. All freaking day, man. Female. Yep. Every freaking fish I've gotten is a female today, it seems like. Heck yeah. <laughs> grinding for that one, man. Grinding. Fourth fish. And it's a nice, mature female king. I was just about to take a nap too. Mike was like, I don't know, man. I don't think you should do it. <laughs> Literally, he's sitting, he's like taking his break. He's telling me how he shouldn't go. And not even two minutes later, we hook into this freaking dandy. All right, so on my last pier fishing video where I was casting spoons, I had a lot of people asking me what this website was right here. And it's called seagull.glos.org, but essentially, this is a heat map of where all the cold water is on the Great Lakes. It also shows you a lot of valuable information like the, the water current. You can see like where the currents are based off of the winds. It also shows you a wind map here. And this is really nice to know because this is what essentially dictates where the cold water is on the Great Lakes. So a lot of times when I'm looking to go pier fishing and you check the weather, at least on the Michigan side, if you're getting a couple a couple days in a row, some heavy north winds, you're going to start seeing 
cooler water pack into the front of these harbors and so i guess right now michigan's not the greatest example but as you can see right here in wisconsin they get their flips a little bit differently than here in michigan a lot of their flips come from west south southwest winds which we've been having the last few days here and according to this heat map right here you can you can clearly see that all these ports on the uh the western side of lake michigan are all holding cold water which i mean these guys are probably slamming fish right now i got some buddies over there that i know are probably getting them it's really nice because this website actually gives you some sort of timeline so you can you can see how the the winds are affecting the water temperature day to day and it's cool because you can kind of see what's coming because if you just look at your basic weather radar i'll just do like my location for example i just live in grand rapids michigan here I can see on the daily forecast that, uh, you know, we had some 80s and now it's going to cool down. And usually when you have a, a quick cool down like this, you know, it, it, you have a 10, 20 degree swing in temperatures. That's most likely due to a change in the wind. And as you can see, it goes from southwest to northwest here. And it's a direct correlation here because with these north winds, it's going to start bringing down that cooler water again. So as you can see right now, warmer as these north winds progress can kind of see based off of this little key right here that there's more cold water that's going to start packing its way into these pier heads again and that's essentially what i'm looking for so you know you can you can always kind of hit fish this time of year in general because they're just kind of because salmon are staging in front of these pier heads right now but um you know the warmer water is not really the most ideal you want to be where this cold water is right here like i said that 40 to 60 degree range is where you want to be these fish kind of favor 52 or 48 to 52 degree water a lot of charter captains say 42 to 52 or something like that I, I forget what they say but all i know is when it's freaking green in front of where you live or whatever period you want to hit it's probably worth a good shot going out and casting and this even goes for like july and stuff like that you'll you'll get kings and salmon and even steelhead and stuff like that um like your summer skimania that will actually come right in front of these pier heads in June, July, based off of really just water temperature. And the more that you can get that down and predict what's coming, the better chances you're gonna have at hooking into fish. So as you can see right now, Michigan's really not set up. We might have some cooler water coming with these north winds. I'm sure it'll start packing some cooler water down our coast here, but looks like wisconsin's the place to be right now they got all the cold water and this is typically what happens in the middle of the summer here they get all the winds that give them the cold water and uh these guys smash fish all throughout the summer i know that for sure but it's basically just a game of tug of war who gets the better fishing you know whoever's on the other side of the pond sometimes sometimes michigan's smacking them sometimes wisconsin's smacking them and it just goes back and forth as the weather changes so i thought i'd just clarify that for you guys because i had a lot of questions about it and it sucks making a drive out on the pier and kind of one foot in the door knowing what you're doing and you can catch a goose egg pretty easily out there i've had i've had a lot of rough days just kind of kind of learning and figuring things out but that's all part of the process i hope you guys have a good salmon season right now the open water fishing is still really good just need a little bit more rain here in michigan before these rivers start pumping in some more fish and they get a little bit more bitey but hope you guys enjoyed the video or found this useful if you did leave a like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace